What's going on everyone? So, if you're familiar with my other video of the JM4 Tactical Holster, I had brought up that I was interested in the high ride holster that they have. And they actually reached out to me on that video and they were like, hey, um, send us an email, we'd like to uh, partner up with you. And so, sent them an email and uh, yeah, so we got the JM4 Tactical high ride holster here. And I'm gonna go over some of the details on it, of course, just like this holster, I'm super pleased with it, but there are some differences, some things that are pros, some that it's not really a con, but it's just different than what this one did. And so let's go over that. One thing I will tell you, so sticking this magnetically onto surfaces, that's something I really liked about this, just walking up, being able to click. And this one will do that. However, because of the magnet's location, um, it will, kind of hang some, so you just gotta make sure it's secure. But I put it on my door and I held it there for about two days and it held place on my main door. Opening and closing never fell, never slid down, anything like that. So the magnets do allow you to do that. So there is less retention on the firearm itself because of the magnet placement to where, it, so it could sit up higher. Which I do like because when it is holstered on my side, instead of pulling the whole holster out, which is what I was doing with this guy, I'm actually able to easily slide the firearm out, but it's not so easy that it like comes loose or anything. It is secure for the most part. Like uh, it, once you have it on your belt loop, like it holds, it doesn't come out or anything, but I can, if I need to draw my firearm without issues and pulling a holster out and throwing it to the side and things like that. So that is one thing I do like about this. Its placement is a little bit higher up, so you do have to get used to that at first because it is a little bit different than this model holster. But it is, uh, it does help with drawing and everything like that, and that's what I like about this one is just the whole drawing aspect from it being holstered just is a lot more smooth of a process. It does sit up higher though, so if you're not used to that or you're going to carry this with a, like appendix, I can't do it because my gut just hangs over too much cause too much pressure right here but this one as far as like usability and stuff from a firearm perspective like a holster what you expect but this one you can do a lot of cool stuff with and I feel like this is more of like I don't even know how to explain it I use this one a ton for storage and keeping it around and, and carrying appendix and stuff like that this one's a lot more of like normal day-to-day -day living where you want it on your side and just different things that I do. I, I don't even know how the proper way to put it is, but they're very similar, but very different. Definitely an awesome holster though. This one is sporting my P365 with the TRL-6 on it. And so yes, they do have it with options to where you can carry a light on it. I do like having a light, so that's cool, but I almost enjoy carrying this one just as much without the light. This is definitely like more of a summertime carry for me. This is more of winter slash summer, depending on my outfit. Just because it's a little bit heavier of a setup and things like gym shorts, sweatpants, things like that, which you can carry these holsters with and they work very well. Um, this just is a heavier setup with everything that I got going on. So it's not something that I do as much. But I think I covered everything with it. I'm, I don't think I'm missing anything, but this is definitely by far my favorite holster brand. It's worth the money 100%. I mean, I've used this thing for over a year now and I still love it to this day. And then now I got this one that I am carrying and kind of neglecting this one a little bit. But yeah, JM4 holsters. You can get them at jm4tactical.com, I believe is the website, could be wrong. Um, I can't really put a link in the description, unfortunately, because YouTube will take it down. But yes, so if you just Google them, uh, the, you'll pull up their website and you order directly from them. They're great holsters and that's why I, I, can't, I can't say that enough. I mean, I, I love both of mine and even though this was shipped for like a review, I still stand with where I stood on my first review where I paid for this one. No one shipped me it. I paid for it and received it and I love the, love the holster. I love the brand. And I love what you can do with these. So, yeah, check them out. If you're in the market for a holster, I highly recommend it. They have all their sizing and stuff on the website, and you can pick out exactly what you want. They do support, you know, ones that'll cut, like, cover, like, optic cuts and stuff like that. So, any kind of accessories you have that you want to put on it, you pretty much can get, for the most part, 
like uh, the common ones and stuff, they all have that on there with all the sizing and everything of what you need to get. If you have any questions, their customer support is actually really quick and they do respond very well and uh, they will help you out as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, hit the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and that's what I got for you. Y'all have a nice day.